By the mid-1920s, Coach Victor C. Hurt had built a track powerhouse on Bison Hill. His teams regularly won conference championships and then began to enjoy success at the major relay events. In 1927, Bison relay teams won the quarter mile at the Oklahoma relays and the half mile at the Texas, Rice, Oklahoma, and Kansas relays. They won the mile relay at the Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Drake relays. The 1928 half mile relay team was undefeated, winning first place at the Texas, Rice, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Drake relays. The 1929 relay teams won the half mile and mile at the Texas and Southern Methodist relays and won the mile at the Kansas and Drake relays. With the same sprinters in 1930, OBU won the half mile and mile at the Southern Methodist and Kansas relays and the mile at the Texas relays. While the relay teams continued to be successful, strong individual performances dominated the 1930s. Riley Williamson won the quarter mile at the 1930 National AAU meet and was a member of the U.S. relay team which ran against a team from Great Britain in an international meet in Chicago. Williamson barely missed earning a spot on the 1932 Olympic team. Smiling Sam Allen piled up numerous honors in the high hurdles. In addition to winning his event at the Fort Worth, Drake, and Kansas relays, he won the high hurdles at the National Collegiate Meet in 1935. The National Collegiate Meet included all colleges and universities regardless of size. In 1936, he set a world record in the 60-yard high hurdles, 7.5 seconds. Allen made it to the finals of the 1936 U.S. Olympic team tryouts, but was eliminated. Quarter miler Harold Cagle qualified for the 1936 Olympics at Berlin and was the leadoff man on the 1600 meter relay team. He earned a silver medal. With the U.S. team, he toured Germany, Scandinavia, and the British Isles. He also ran the quarter in 46.5 at the National Intercollegiate Meet, just two seconds off the world record. He remains the only OBU athlete to win an Olympic medal. This has been an OBU Centennial Moment.